In this video, I will demonstrate how to install MAUI and get your first Windows application running using JetBrains Rider. To begin launch JetBrains Rider. Create a new solution. Choose your desired folder. From the left-hand menu, select MAUI from the other options at the bottom. On the right-hand side, Rider will put install buttons. I will click the first one to install .NET SDK. After that, we will see the Install MAUI button. Click that and MAUI will begin installing. This took a little while to complete on my machine. Once completed, there will be some more options you can choose from. For this example, I will leave the default MAUI using C Sharp because I want to create a new Windows application. Once this loads, you can see in the Solution Explorer the various files that make up the default emplate. This template has some text, an image, and a button that counts how many times you have clicked it. If we click the Run button here, it will give us a pop-up. If we select the drop-down list and choose one of the other configurations from the three that this has by default, when we run it, we will get some errors. Swapping between them will output this error if you are trying to target an SDK that you have not set up. For this example, I only want to make an application targeting Windows. If we open the configurations, we will see the UWP section is the one we want, and that might show an error indicating that you are not in developer mode. To get your machine into developer mode, click the link here to open the settings menu and toggle that on. Next, if we try to build this again, we will still get the same error. This is basically saying that we don't have the Android SDK on this computer, which is okay for me because I only want to target Windows anyways. You can use the AI Assistant to get some more information about how to proceed.
In this case, we need to remove the references to other systems from our target framework property inside of our project file. I will copy and paste the output from the AI assistant and change line 4 in the project file using that. Now we can build and run the application successfully. Thanks for watching.